の科学者クアメよ Welcome back to another episode of BME TV. I'm your host, DJ Kev Degas, also known as the president of BME Entertainment.、Um, our two regular co hosts or hosts is not here today. Shout out to Big Fred and Leilani out there working.、Uh, we have a special guest co host, I r e t a Hi, i r e t a how are you? And、Good. welcome to b e i n g co host today.、Me. Yes.、Um, also, My number one DJ, my engineer, my producer, my everything, DJ KR Rockwell. What's up, Rockwell? What's good, people? How you doing? What's good, good, good. president? Good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you don't have to step back in the seat to host again. But we had a great show for them today. You know that, right? Yes, sir. We have a fashion designer here today. We have two rappers, we got a singer, and we got a poet here today. Oh, that's excellent. We have a full house. A that's full house great. Today, of course. Yes, sir. And we can't forget our music countdown that we have. No.、Uh, what's the number one? What's the number eight video, actually? Number eight video is going to be Young Low、uh, Changes Remix with Two Pop. And we're、we'll、going to be back after this. TV. Stay tuned. We'll be right back after this. I see no changes. Wake up in the morning and I ask myself, is life worth living? Should I blast myself? I'm tired of being poor and even worse, I'm black. My stomach hurts, so I'm looking for a purse to snatch. And that's how it's supposed to be. How can the devil take my brother if he's close to me?、Uh. I let it go back to what we played as kids, but things change. That's the way it is. Up in the morning, and I ask myself, is life worth living? Should I blast myself? People making fun of bums on the street, but they wouldn't make fun if it was a family. Young wanna be thugs, r o c k Come back to b e i n g me. That was a hot video.、Um, right now, we have a special guest that is Nina J, a female rapper from Brooklyn. Yes, ma'am. That's、so、the BK in the building. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I appreciate you guys. Yes, you got a hot performance up next. Yes. yes. <laughs> so let's jump into this interview.、Mm-hmm. Um, my first question to you is What made you become an、uh, MC that you are right now? What made me become a FEMC is the fact that there aren't enough of us. Like,、okay. it seems like they get slaughtered out because, you know, they're too aggressive or whatever.、Okay. I think that, you know, it's time for girl power movement. Something has to happen. So. Okay. I'm taking、yeah. a stand for Brooklyn. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. You have a question for me. And how long have you been a rapper? I've been doing this for about 12 years now. That's a long time. Yeah. What age did you start? Writing rhymes? Oh, when I was a kid. It started like little poems, and then my friends, they started doing it, you know, in the lunchroom, the、yeah. beats on the table. <laughs> That's how that all began.、Uh-huh. <laughs> right there in Julia Richmond, Talented Unlimited lunchroom. <laughs> I'm a TU student. Okay. okay. <laughs> okay.、Um, top five artists Little Kim, Bahamadia. Wait, stop. <laughs> You, she said Little Kim. Yeah. <laughs> That is the number one. I'm sorry, Foxy, I love you, but Kim is number one all day, every day. Yes, yes. Nobody can, Nikki. <laughs> I'm sorry, but Little Kim, like, if you would put out Little Kim's Queen B e e album right now, like, it's going <sighs> platinum. I'm let's, sorry. Let's, let's not go there. I'm her number one <laughs> fan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to back up and be number two、okay. today for you. <laughs> That's my heart.、Right、yes,、there. me too.、Yeah. So, Little Kim,、uh-huh. Bahamadia,、okay. Eve, Rod Digger,、yes. and to top it all off, not for nothing, my girl Trina. Yes. Trina, yes. all day. <laughs> Great top five. Yes, top those are my girls. Okay. Girl power. Yes, girl power. <laughs> all right.、Um, next question.、Um, my next question to you is what do you rap about? 
I rap about everyday girl life. I rap about girl arrogancy. I rap about everything a girl is thinking about. If today I'm thinking about how some guy tried to talk to me on the street, that's what I'm going to rap about. If I um, <laughs> lost a friend and I feel sad and I got that good beat that makes me think about them, I'm going to rap about my friend. It's, it's whatever the music tells me to do. That's I'm an instrument. That's what my voice is, an instrument. Before I go into my next question, before you came on set, we were talking. We have some mutual friends. Yes. Shout out to the 300 block of put. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that. I Shout out to Gates Avenue. Yes. GA parties yes. was epic. Yes. <laughs> wow. Yes. Deep. Um, who inspired you? Who inspired to be me? The artist that you are today. To be the artist that I am today. I have a couple of people that inspire me to be the artist that I am today. One is um, a good friend of mine, the face of Brooklyn. I've known him for a while. And my best friend in the whole wide world, Danish Gilmer <laughs> from high school, and my kids. Okay. My girls, they like, you do it, mom. <laughs> they like, every day they want to hear something. They're like, oh, don't do this, don't do that, do this. You know, and I love them for it. They're my backbone. Okay. You have any more questions? For yes, I have one more question. Speaking of girl power, how do you inspire other girls? Actually, I have... Um, the younger crowd. The younger crowd right now, I feel like there's a lot of disciplinary action that needs to happen with these kids. But yeah. I do have <laughs> talks, you know, I do um, invite take people, like I have camping trips that I take the girls in my neighborhood on. and Like I try to do actual stuff with them. I don't just wanna talk a hole in your head. I wanna, let's go. I mean, there's nothing to do on the streets. Like they don't have what we used to have. They don't have game rooms. They don't have a social networking place where they actually go and socialize. We had LB Square Mall all day. Yeah, like, so right. we was out and about networking amongst each other. Now it's behind a computer. These kids are not getting no air or anything. So right. everything that I do is like, like I said, whatever you're thinking at the time, that's what I rap about. So you get out there and you're like, uh, and then, you know, take them somewhere. If you see a girl and she's not doing anything on the street, invite her to a movie, yes. you know, do that. It's more doing than talking. Yeah. Well, I have two more questions for you. This other question is very dear to my heart when I ask these um, artists. Um, if you was to go back 18 years ago, what would you tell your 18-year-old self? If I was to go back to my 18-year-old self, I would tell her to do it now and don't wait and don't let nothing stop you and don't allow the negativity to depress you and take you off your track because you're a star. That's what I would tell her. Be brave, don't care, have courage, do it. Even if you feel like you're not supported, be your own best support yes. because you're nobody without you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, social media links, how could they find you? Ooh, I'm on Facebook as Nina Bishop. Um, that's for my 400 block people. <laughs> and I'm on Instagram as Mismatic1. And my SoundCloud isn't up yet, but I'm working on it. Okay, okay. All right, so I want to say, you have anything else before we go? No. All right, I want to say thank you for coming. Thank you for having and I want me. You, I want y'all to sit back, because she's about to give y'all fire right now. So up next, Hot Performance by Nina J. All right? Thank you. We'll be back yeah. after this. <laughs> Luminate, yo, Miss Nina J, yo. Uh -huh. yeah. You know your man like me, yeah. Him wanna drink me like I see, yeah. You tryna get them to indict me, yo. Acting like you wanna fight me. If you a frog, hop the fence. Who you talking hard, bitch? You better pop a dip. Got the 45, and I'm about to dump the clip. See you running, about to catch a couple sutures and shit. I'm a pretty girl, straight from Best Style. Live in Brownsville, so I'm 718 fly. You can catch me in the kitchen selling dirty pot pies while your bitches on a mission for them dirty top guys. And I know you don't like me, but all the hating do is excite me. But boy, if you trying to find me, IG, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Skype me. You know your man like me. Yeah. Him wanna drink me like I see. Yeah. You trying to get them to indict me. Yeah. 
acting like you wanna fight me, yeah. You know your man like me, yeah. And wanna drink me like icy, yeah. You trying to get them to indict me, yeah. Bitch, I'm a beast. You don't wanna see when Anna Nina off the leash. Keep me away from your man, cause I'm a creep. We gon' do it on your couch when you go to sleep. Capiche? Ain't nothing sweet, and I ain't like you, bros. If I'm a different cloak, and they ain't never ever gonna make my fabric no more. And you ain't never ever gonna be like this here, bro. I got a real ass on me, and it's cotton soft. And your boyfriend wanna know what it feel like. To fuck a real bitch in real life And when we got words to change it But y'all all the same Fuck the blah 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 Bitch your head games lame yeah. You know you mean like me yeah. And wanna drink me like icy yeah. You trying to get them to indict me yeah. Acting like you wanna fight me yeah. You know you mean like me yeah. And wanna drink me like icy yeah. You trying to get them to indict me yeah. Acting like you wanna fight me <laughs> Once again, 718, Nina J, thank you, BME, I love you guys, I appreciate you, thank you. Yeah, y'all give it up. Hey, what's up, this is Cherise Marie and you're watching BME TV. The name of the poem that I'm reading is called Stop the Violence. Stop the violence. Now is the time to stop the violence. Let's give a moment to pray that one day death won't be because of violence. Maybe one day it will be documented that African Americans stuck together and built together instead of killing one another. And maybe the corrupted people won't be so argumentative about the things that are going on in our communities today, but are still neglected by the system of non-equalization and non-justification. People, we are a reflection of the system rejection, especially when police officers see us killing one another. But there is no justice when officers are killing us getting off free. Enough is enough. My people, do you agree? See, we can't give up. We have to stand up and stay up. Day after day hearing the same old stuff. Something always happening. But it's not until it hit home that we would get up. We can no longer sit around and wait for death to come back around and back around and back around again. For the battle has not been won because justice is never justified. See, the bullet you don't see is still affecting me. You see, I had to get up because a brother killed my bro a gun killed my brother. And you see, it never was any justice. Bullets killed my brother and my sister still hurts and my mother never got it together and passed away after losing her firstborn son, Terrace. So now I stand to hold another mother's hand to encourage her through her pain. We must stop the violence because the tears come down like rain pouring and pouring, a sign of God crying, and the listening is the, the lightning is the results of pain. And the thunder is the sound of bullets. But we continuously are killing even after the rain has stopped, but the ground still lives with the gunpowder that splattered from a body scattered. But the rain can only wash away the blood, not the pain. You see, when we kill one another, it's the family's pain. Stop the violence. Drop the gun. Stand together for once. Let's all fight for justice. Whatever happened to together we stand, divided we fall. I guess the order is too tall. Because the moment someone call, fast to the roll call, but hesitant to fight for justice for all. See, the problem is everyone wants, everyone wants to be a boss. Instead of building together halfway up, we killing our brothers because only one can make it to the top. So we kicking them down instead of uniting. We too busy fighting, standing for nothing but hatred. And look at us getting mad because police officers on every corner trying to detect the ones with the burners. We thinking we're playing cops and robins when we're the only ones dying by their bullets and ours. But guess who's dying? It's our youth. It's our fathers. It's our sons. It's our brothers. It's our uncles. It's our cousins. It's our communities. Whatever happened to coming as one to unify the community? To be a member of a united race that stands together and stands tall to stop the fall? Let's call a roll call. 
Harlem, are you in to stop the violence? Let's unify and watch and see how we can build together. Stop the violence. Thank you. Oh my God, this, yeah, okay. I'm sorry, it brought a little bit of tears to my eyes because, wow. Because I lost a cousin to gun violence over hatred. And that really touched me, so I'm sorry. Yeah. Very deep. The person you were talking about was somebody in your family? Yes, my brother got killed. He was an innocent bystander going to visit his grandmother on 148th Street and Broadway. He was between Broadway and Amsterdam. And some guys with masks came running down the block and he was going inside the building with my cousins and he didn't make it up the stairs. He, he got shot as he was walking in a building. So this was in 1992. My brother just made 21 and it feels like it was yesterday. When you lose someone in your family, it, whether it's gun violence or to anything, yes. It's hard, you know, they said time will heal all will, um, wounds. But sometimes when I look back, I don't even think of it as being 20 years ago. It seems like it was just yesterday. I remember the whole story like yesterday and it's just, it has to stop. Gun violence has to stop. We're killing each other. The um, officers are killing us and they're doing it because they're like, oh, they're doing it. Well, we can do it too, but we're not gonna get no time. But y'all, y'all gonna get time for doing it. And it's just, it don't matter what color you are, where you're from, it has to stop worldwide. That's how I feel about it. You have a question for me? Um, how long have you been a poet? I've been writing since I was nine years old, for like 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> my other question to you is, what made you become a poet? Um, I was visiting my aunt one day for the weekend, and she was telling me and my best friend that Everyone was born with a gift that God has given you. And I said, I don't have no gift. What you talking about, auntie? <laughs> and she was like, you do. Y'all can sing or dance or something, but right now you're going to do something to show me what talent y'all have. So I chose to write some lines on the paper. And when she read it, she was like, this is a poem. I said, what's that? And she explained to me what poetry is. And ever since then, I've been writing. OK, got <laughs> two more questions for you. Um, where do you want your message to go? I want my message to reach everyone worldwide. Uh, my message is to don't give up. Stay who you are. Believe in yourself. Like, there's so many people that tell you, you can't do this, you can't do that. You can do that. You are able. Yes. Mm -hmm. God will help you along your way, even if you're lost. He will give you the strength, the courage, the faith to believe and to trust in Him. And when you trust in God, everything goes right. That's correct. Last one, not least. Um, who's your inspiration? God. <laughs> God inspires me. Like, I have a clothing line called God and I. And what inspired me to do a clothing line called God and I is because when I look around, I don't have anybody but God. God is my inspiration. God is my everything. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Very touchy. You got any questions for yes, me, Yes, I do. <laughs> if you can ask, if you can go back to your 18 year old self, what would you tell that? Mm -hmm. My 18 year old self was scared. Scared of life, scared of not knowing where would life take you at such a young age. I lost all my, like a lot of my family by the time I was 18. So at 18, I was scared and lost. And when you're scared and lost, anything can happen to you. And you, it was just, I would tell myself, don't choose men to find comfort. Don't choose men to to tell you that you are beautiful. Don't choose a man to, to, to lower your standards. Don't choose a man to just, so I can have, so I don't have to be lonely. You are you, love who you are. Look in the mirror, you're a beauty. I used to look in the mirror and say, oh, I'm dark, I'm ugly, I'm this, I'm that. And now I look in the mirror, I just say, I'm just thankful for who I became. And 
Without the trials and tribulations from being 18, I would not have been who I am today because the trials and tribulations that I've been through starting from 18 helped me to become the better woman that I am today. So I would tell that 18 year old, don't give up, keep on moving. You're gonna go through trials, you're gonna go through ups, you're gonna go down through ups and downs, but you will get over it. It will overcome, it will be all right. It's all right to cry sometimes. It's all right not to have everything you want. It's all right to look at a person and be like, Dad, I wish I had that, I wish I had that. No, but if you work for what you want, you can have, you don't have to hate on another female. Uh, look, Give her a compliment. Yep. Like, you're beautiful today. Why we can't give each other compliments and stop hating on one another? That's what it's about, to build and to grow in this life and to love, to love each other right. instead of killing, beating, and hating on one another. Yes. I'm glad you said that. Before I get to my last question, I just want to give a public service announcement to our black men out there. I didn't have a choice. You see where I'm at? This is where you can be. You can see where Rockwell's at. You can be doing the same thing he's doing. The gun violence shouldn't happen. We should come together, do positive things. Look at my father, the CEO of his own company, I'm his son. I'm the president. You can do the same exact thing. And that is something I've been wanting to say for a long time and just didn't have the guts to put, put it out there. But now I do. And oh, I can, you. because of your poem today. Thank you. So that really, really inspired me. Thank Seriously. you. Seriously. Thank you. Um, how can people find you? I'm on YouTube. I'm Kia Tyler. Um, I'm on YouTube. I'm on Facebook. Kia Tyler. <laughs> So Google her, Kia Tyler. <laughs> um, our number seven video. Before, before I get to that, I want to say thank you. Yes. For thank coming. you. Thank you I for really having me. I really enjoyed your poem. Thank you. Um, it did hit me. Thank you. But amazing. Thank you. I'm definitely going to invite you to come back. All right. Thank yes. you. <laughs> We're going to the number seven video. We're going to Simply Mo. The song is called Convicted. Um, she's an inspirational gospel singer, R&B singer. I have to play this song for a reason. And we're back after this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was feeling so convicted from the things I did with you last night.
What's up? This is DJ Kev, the God, the president of BME. Stay tuned for a hot, hot show. See you soon. You know, you know, a lot of people get yeah, this shit all effed up, man. <laughs> it's like some cats just going for a title, but. You gotta Is that it. what you want? Is that what you need? Is that what you came for? Is that what you want? Is that what you need? Is that what you came for? Doesn't come easy. Is that what you want? Is that what you need? Is that what you came for? Well, I got what you want. I got what you need. That's what I'm. I got what you came for. I'ma give it to him. I'ma put this shit on smash. Cut my wrist bone. Cause I got the wrist on glass All balls, all hood, got my shit on blast They say, do my nigga, flow my nigga Let them know how you hold my nigga How you chop up the block, got the whip so killer How you grind, bring checks, the neck piece lit up Interior, the whip, cream vanilla Came up from a microwave dinner To the T-bone steaks and grapes, my nigga It's all good, I moved out the hood to a new turf Top floor, hit the burst chirp I pay more arms than a t-shirt Tell my goons, ask later, squeeze first To crush my turds, used to swallow my spit Now I got a model chick with every bottle I sip Is that what you need? Is that what you came for? Is that what you want? Is that what you need? Is that what you came for? Is that what you want? Is that what you need? Is that what you came for? Well, I got what you want. I got what you need. I got what you came for. I never had the front drop a dime for bail Got great lawyers for court, never see me in jail I know that the feds want an espionage But that's the shit that happen when your unit is large I'ma let you know what this OG said Life like a guillotine, fam, hold your head Dough is packed toast to hold my bread Put my best foot forward when I move my leg uh, See my face turn the TV on Big body outside, what I'm leaning on it's hard to win in this world of sin Put my life in these bars, never dodging the pin Never happen again When these dudes run up on me with that burner I have my eyes cut every since Now everywhere that I go, I'm fully equipped I never trip, I just mind I sip Now play this shit, uh I want it to the old damn world About the special lady in my life I'm glad that you're here with me Everything that was wrong in my life is right you, you put a smile on my face when i wake up yeah and you don't even really need makeup no. take a seat okay. just relax okay. get comfortable okay. i'm massage your back okay. ease your stress yes take a breath okay. no more ripping and wondering time to take a rest yeah. I said I want to live 